Hi, this is IOT Internet Pro MVC Learn and Practice Course. Today in this lesson, I will continue to guide you how to work with the create, read, update, and delete operation by using store procedures in IOT.NET Core MVC. Today in the part four, you will learn how to work with the view to show the content on the presenter. Okay, let's get started. And the next step, I'm going to create new view for each action here. So here, just right click on this one, index, and add a view. So in the add MVC view, I will select some template in that it will be return the lead i will select option here for the model class i will select the student and then i will create the i will select the layout set data for this i mean this is the master template for all of the pieces in our project so you see here the student has been Created in the view folder. I do the same thing for another action in news detail. Add view, select the detail, student create, create, and student. Edit. And the last one will be the delete. Close this one for great new. Uh, let me check here. Yet we have a ID column, so should we delete this? Okay, I will open the setup layout in the layout here and then I will try to create new hyperlink on the menus. So privacy, I will have a menu here. This will be the action controller, it should be the student. Okay, action, it should be index and this one should be the student. Close this one. Yeah, it seems fine. We are going to do setting. Click on IS Express. Click on this one. And this is the default template of the .NET MVC core. So here you see we have a student that we created on the navigation. See privacy, it has some information here. Click on student. It will display the list of the, the student listing. However, at this time we ha don't have any student, so this list will be blank. Okay, go ahead to click on create new hyperlink here. It will direct you to the create screen. Yeah. So here in the previous step, I have the delete the ID view here on uh, on the top of the creating new here because the ID will be automatically encrypted, so I don't want to enter the value for this one. So here I'm going to enter some value for a student. I will have a Jian Viet, Jian Wu, gender with male, class A, uh, A1, address A, Hanoi, Vietnam, notes, uh, uh, click on grip button here. There is some zero issue. Student does address our oh, brain exception. Let me see what happened in the great new. Ah, okay. So here we have our own student address. Let me close this one and check the database first. 
and I will have the table student right click on this one to select the data has been added successfully into this table. Okay. And let me see what happened with the select from student. It will find here. Let me check the short code again. Okay, so this will be the DRL. For this one, let me see, we have a read for the... For this one, it will be the get all the student open. We have a um, key class student, student to string, student name, gender, class, at the rest, address. Note, let me see the address. Address. Oh, no, 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 no. We have issue address. It is wrong. Let me see. So why the why this one it has been successfully created? <laughs> okay, okay, let me see. Okay, here so we have address. Let me open the sequence over. Oh Okay, okay. It in my phone. Edit this one. Sorry about that. Okay. So here, let me correct the column name. Student address. Address. Correct for old. Okay, sorry, sorry. This one is dress. Update is dress. Rest by ID should be dress. Save it. Run it again. Sorry. Student. So here you can see the student have been displaying on this one i'm going to create a new one cnv8 male fighter boy female class e a2 hanoi vietnam nothing proactive and yeah okay that thing that 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 that, that, okay. So here, I click on the edit or oh, error message. Cannot be found. Let me see what happened. Back to this one. Edit. So I will check edit later. We will check the detail. Oh, not found. Delete. Not found as well. Okay. Let me open back the shortcut. Okay, here I will have the the view index. I will have a index. Let me scroll down. Okay, here. So we need to re uncomment this one. It will be item dot id. Copy. New copy this one. Okay, run it again. Student and edit should be work. Okay, ID trees. Okay, so here for the ID, I win in the edits, I win hide the ID. Okay, so I will have the view for the edit it will be delete this one 
set it refresh it again oh i have i have to stop it we cannot do modification when working on the donate donate core it's not the same when you are working with the ap donates and we see only student edit the id has been disappear chain that chain chain oh oh shit okay updated view detail okay edit here if you, okay still is still I will open the edit and we go to the see the thing here we have a edit student detail sorry detail same thing for the id model model dot those id okay i put that okay i will check it later on okay back to this one back to lead and delete delete okay great that 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 Close this one and run the code again for the latest update in the view. Student uh, detail edit. Yeah. Work fine. Okay. So here delete on one again. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to work on the create read updates and delete operation in the donate core mvc without using the entity framework okay so we should have some time for break and then we will continue learning in the next lesson thank you